Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another show with our career talk with IT professionals. And today, our guest is a cybersecurity engineer. And for our guest, we have Juan Carlo Licodine. Right. So, Sir Carlo or Sir Juan. Hello. Can, can you greet our <clears throat> friends? Now? Hello, Raf. Thank you for enough for having me, and um, thank you everyone for. Uh, joining us in this um, interview, uh, I do hope I could be able to uh, no, to impart a lot of um, uh, knowledge, uh, especially since uh, to those you know, younger viewers who are here. Correct, correct. And so for our audience, uh, let's kick it off, no? And let's ask Sir Juan Carlo, what is a cybersecurity engineer? <clears throat> well, it's um, my my current job. Uh, I have a lot of things that I do in my company, uh, but basically it's all about protecting companies um, when it comes to cybersecurity. So, of course, when um, getting hacked. Uh, so, how how do we deal with those things? How can we prevent hacking, especially for for our big clients, um, uh, which are companies? We need to make sure that um, we. We provide solutions and provide um, support to them uh, to make sure that if ever they get hacked or um, for for similar problems, we need to be able to help them get back on their feet. And of course, um, make sure to that they are well protected. I said that's what we do in our company. We offer cybersecurity solutions. So what I do specifically is I study those solutions, I evaluate them, and I make sure I understand them completely. So whenever uh, an engineer from a company wants help in in understanding the solution, that's the time that I could give them uh, the support that they need. And, and sir, to expand on this, no, in terms of a value of a security, a cybersecurity engineer, right? Uh, what what if a company doesn't have one? Like, you know, what's the benefit uh, of really of having a dedicated uh, cybersecurity engineer? Well, it's uh, it's very important because there are a lot of the the, the cybersecurity field is just like the IT field is always evolving. Uh, there's always new forms of attack, uh, new forms of uh, attack to defend from, diba? So, lagging may, um, there's a new attack happening and then there's a new malware. So, you need professionals who is always on top of things, diba? Para, uh, it's sometimes okay lang din we have an IT person who knows cybersecurity. Pero ang, ano eh, um, some, ang focus lang nila, of course, making sure they're, uh, their devices are secure, get on. But if you have a dedicated team, they can focus just on security itself, uh, and I think that helps a lot. And that's why if um, a lot of big companies have their own cybersecurity teams, maybe even a whole department dedicated to just securing their networks and their um, their web apps. So that's a that's a really big thing nowadays. And sir, I wonder if you could comment on this. No? Sometimes I hear like they say that ah, big companies nga nahahak, paano pa kaya tayo? Um, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? No? Yeah, it's cybersecurity is a very difficult thing. Diba? Um, so imagine if you are, a, no matter how big you are or small you are, you there is always a room for attack. So imagine you have a house, um, you could only spend your attention on specific places on your house and even you you have a limited budget to protect your house maybe your door so then that you're, you're you're gonna protect that you're gonna put a lot of locks on it your windows but of course sometimes if the the hacker or malicious threat actors are really persistent and then they're, they're, they're gonna go through the wall or or underground so, so that's so that's a good uh, no, analogy of uh, of how cybersecurity is. You can't protect the whole attack surface, especially if you're a big company. Imagine you're a big company with different sites all over the world. You can't protect all of each one of them. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, what you could do is to have a basic cybersecurity hygiene. 
if, as long as you have the basics um it it clears out a lot of ano uh, of the the attacks already <clears throat> but sometimes meron lang talaga mga mga uh, big threat actors that have a lot of manpower and a lot of backing that sometimes it's really hard to protect against so when that happens ang pinaka answer don is being able to deal with the threat after you've been hacked so getting hacked is ano sometimes ano um an inevitable you sometimes it it really happens so security teams have changed their focus to being able to respond to hacks as soon as you detect it being able to protect your assets from the inside make sure that you you are well backed up and then making sure that they're out na parang ganun. so it's a very it's a very difficult field to be honest um it's um there's a lot of challenges especially since uh hacking has been very lucrative so and I mean you know especially some ransomware so a lot of um, bad actors are getting rich from it and it has been um, I guess inspiring other hackers to to do the same so that's why there is a big need for cybersecurity professionals especially nowadays I see I see and you know uh, as I understand it because you're a smaller company you have a smaller attack for surface so you have uh, easy you're, you should in 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 concept be able to secure that better no because you have that lower attack i mean you know smaller attack surface no you should uh, pero um, the reality is ano sadly if you are a small company it's security is far from your ano, priorities eh um let's say you you have to deal with other stuff and security sometimes is always forgotten and that's why even if you're a small company marami pa rin hack Actually, mas ano pa nga, eh, mas uh, mas bigger target sila because mm-hmm. the the hackers know that these small companies don't have the resources to protect themselves. So yon. And, and sir, this is um this is a thought of mine, no? Which is in terms of dito parang alam mo yung blame game para ah sila yan kasi hindi na secure ganyan no? yeah. how, how do you, how do you manage that um responsibilities no um, especially post and pre attack no um <clears throat> good question sir um i, I think <clears throat> it's important to have process um it's important to to make sure that uh your team or the cybersecurity team follows those processes and there is also what they call um um may mga laws tayo dyan, especially global laws uh, that um that companies need to follow uh, and as long as ma follow yon yung mga ano na yon mga mga laws na yon <clears throat> it's it would be easy to to say okay we follow this and then sometimes talagang ganun lang talaga and i think naman as um cybersecurity engineers we also need to make sure to make it clear to anyone in management na na it's not a hundred percent secure you it's not really possible uh, but as, as long as you you put that that point across okay lang eh wala, wala, may, ano, wala na masyadong blame ano yan kasi okay let's just do this let's just fix it and then do better next time ano ganun that's the that's the current mindset nowadays kasi blaming is ano eh uh, siguro before uh, nung walang mga processes pero now since may processes na tayo we could say oh we did this we we did what we can Parang ganon. And so, hindi acceptable na ano, sabihin. Kaya nga, binig- kaya nga nag-hire ako para hindi ma-hack. No? Parang hindi uh, acceptable answer. Uh, 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 dapat talaga, ano, um, we, we need to make it clear to everyone na ganun nga, na hindi, it's not 100%. You, you, there's no possible way you can make something 100% because the, the threat actors, given enough time and given enough um, dedication, they're gonna get to you. So, ano, that's a scary side of cybersecurity to be honest. Um kahit, kahit na even at home, if you try to secure your 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 things as much as you can, sometimes talaga if someone wants to to get your stuff, they're going to get it. Ganun. That's true, that's true. Though. And sir, siguro other people are asking what what languages or what coding skills are required if they want to pursue 
uh, cybersecurity? <clears throat> so there's two sides in cybersecurity. Uh, there's the blue team or the defensive side, which I am on. And there's also the red team, which is the offensive side. Mm, okay. So so imagine the offensive side is you're you're gonna simulate you're you're, you're the hacker mm-hmm. and you're gonna try to infiltrate the company. But of course, follow uh, alam ng company yon. Alam ng company na <laughs> hack mo sila. And they're they're hiring you as a an ethical hacker to hack their systems to understand which attack surfaces are present. Also and known those, as white hat. White, ha- white hats, no? white white hats uh, or uh, pen testers, mga ganon. And then, uh, uh, what they use mostly uh, nowadays is uh, Python. That's uh, y- y- uh, Python talaga ang pinaka ano, biggest ano sa ano when it comes to uh, red team. Uh, sa blue team, it's a, a mix of different ano uh, technologies. Kasi you have different vendors who have um, um, different oh, different stacks, yeah. Uh, uh, so so ang pinaka nakikita ko diyan Python pa rin of course uh, but if ano in terms of performance C++ um, is mm-hmm. a good ano is a good thing to have uh uh-uh. interesting no um ito yeah. pala yung cybersecurity mm it's ano it's very interesting and that that's the reason why I ano I switched from uh I'm actually I was actually a game developer before so prior to this I was a game developer and then I did that for around seven years, and before do that, programmer ako. So for that whole time, I was programming, and then, um, and then I got, I got wind of cybersecurity. Hmm, para interesting yun, sabi ko. And um, I, I studied it. I tried looking for courses, and then I got my certification. And then from there, ano, nagswitch ako ng career, uh, and that's where I am now, because it's I found it really. Exciting, but of course it's uh, no, it's not like the movies. Like oh, wow, there's a hacker. Like you're gonna no, you're gonna. It's not it's not like that. Yeah, Minsan yeah. pang ano, medyo boring eh. Uh, pero ano, there's still that, there's still that always that looming threat, and this and the success wherein you could be able to stop that threat. So yeah. And, and I'm guessing I don't know. I'm interpreting it lang no from a developer that you mentioned, naging game developer and then cybersecurity. Uh, baka nga, eh, you interpret it like you know cybersecurity is like a game no parang <laughs> capture capture yeah. the man <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you could say that um actually funnily enough i started from ano capture the flags uh that's what uh, piqued my interest uh sa cybersecurity so there are a lot of websites out there that um Oh, hack me! You know, hack, hack this website or hack the box, and um, from there you could you could legally hack that website and learn the skills on how to on how to hack and at, and on the flip side, how to protect yourself from those hacks. Because ano eh, is knowing how the offense does it will give you a good idea on how to defend against it. That's true. And um, are you also a I don't know if there it's a term no an active uh, bug bounty hunter? Ah uh, no, that's ano uh, for ano uh, for um, for pen testers so for the offensive side John. So again, I'm from the defensive side. Uh, I, I wanted to because ano eh, um, I still know um, I still have some knowledge on how to do on how to properly inspect a program. Mm-hmm. Coming from a def- uh, from my from yeah. um, dev background, right? Um, but I know, I know, my focus right now is talaga on the defensive side. So most of the time, what I do on the side is, I know, opening up malware. So pag, if I find, I know, like uh, a new malware, I'm gonna <clears throat> open it, open it up in my lab, see what it does, and then study it, and then maybe even try to connect to the server ng, ng malware, ganon, and try to understand. Oh, okay, so this is this came from this. This country, you know, so, so um, th- that's that's what I do uh, on my free time. Right, right. And you know, just a little back, you know, uh, back back to the past. No? Um, you mentioned that you know you're a developer before. Um, during college, um, did you ever see yourself as you know being a cybersecurity, or how did you start uh, being uh, with your developer journey? Is there something <clears> you know uh, you really loved? Uh, is it something post college? You know, maybe some of our college um, audience are thinking, 
Oh, no, I, you know, I didn't enjoy college or what, no, because uh, we have those as well, right? Yes, of course. Um, so when I was in high school, I really wanted to uh, to make games. You know, talaga. You know, talaga. Ano ko? Oh, sabi ko, I love playing games, and you uh, know, it's it's natural for me to to try and make games. Uh, but during that time, that was long time ago. Uh, wala pang game development courses. Yes. <laughs> so so sabi ko, okay, sige, ano bang next best thing, next best choice ko? That would be computer engineering. <laughs> Kasi I figured, oh, it's computer. Maybe there, I know we can be able to make games. Sadly, wala masyadong game making uh, when it comes to computer engineering. <laughs> That's true. Wala nga. Uh, uh, oh, wala nga. So parang, I got, I got a bit disappointed, but it's fine. Kasi ano, I learned a lot of the... Um, the the basics uh, when it comes to programming to how to build a program and how to how computers work and then that allowed me to study game development on my own and luckily enough uh, that's the time that ano, um, I, I, I found a job of game development uh, I did that for around two years and then after that I decided to start my own game development company uh, so I started that, and that took around five years. Uh, that's it, it's really different, talaga. If you know, um, you're working for a company, and then you you started your own company, that's a big leap, talaga. Because it's you know, it's something uh, from from a stable job to an uncertain job. But thankfully, I was able to you know, um, uh, to get through it. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I I I had. I already had an idea on what I want, and I understand that kids nowadays, medyo, they they still don't know eh. Um, oh, ah, ano kaya ko or ano? And um, usually my my advice to that, even my kids, uh, I have uh, my eldest is ano is in that stage now, and he still doesn't know what to ano what to take. And I think ano ang lagi kong sinasabi sa kanya is ano, um, try to find something that you feel. Is aligns with what you know and what you feel you would like. It it's it's not. Anyway, sometimes you're not lucky like me na alam mo na agad, um, But if if you are on the uncertain side, just look for something that you feel that baka and then try to try to grow into it. Because eventually, ano eh, you you'll find something in that job or in that career na you might not have seen when you were younger. Oh, this is this is fine, pala, sure, sure. So hopefully, um, makatulong yon. <clears throat> do cybersecurity engineers uh, normally do you guys work alone or in teams? Generally, it should be in teams, um, um, especially in the big companies. Because ano eh, um, even if you're just even if you're a cybersecurity engineer, marami pa ring ano mga Subfields inside of it. So there are cybersecurity professionals that focus on, like I said, yung attacking. Uh, merong uh, that specialize in malware. Merong that specialize in uh, hunting for threats. So it's or or looking for threats inside your network. And meron din mga securing. So so you need a lot of those different ano subfields to form a good team. You, you can't just have one. Um, I think what mga, ang mga biggest talaga na ano na teams is ano is a whole center of ano cybersecurity engineers, each with different tiers. So we have a level one cybersecurity engineer, level two, level three, ganon, and then each one deals with uh, increasing forms of ano of uh, of attacks or problems that they deal with. So just to give you guys an idea. Um, is there any um, particular set of skills or maybe like a certification path that helps you get hired more as a, a cybersecurity? Yeah, um, certification is. I'm not. It's certification can help a lot, especially in this industry. 
Because the industry is still young, uh, it's still growing a lot, and there aren't a lot of schools here in the Philippines that offer cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. So the only way for companies to determine if you know what you're talking about or you know how to do cybersecurity is through certifications. Um, there are a lot of certifications nowadays. Um, just to throw some ideas out there, there are um, um, e-learn security. Um, Meron din tayong SANS, although that's very expensive if you look at it, it's very expensive. But um, ang importante dito is there are a lot of um, uh, certifications out there. If you don't want to go to the certifications route, uh, meron din tayong mga courses. Um, there's um, uh, maraming courses out there. Um, shout out to ano, to Guide M. That's one of the, the, the courses that I took. And I learned a lot from that. Uh, they they offer both uh, defensive and offensive side. So I think what what I'm getting at is, it's you know, um if you re you can learn from your own, uh, but certifications would definitely help just to just so that they would know na para okay this this guy knows the the bare minimum, because it's a such a large field na um. Mamaya pala if you're learning on your own, which is possible. If you're learning on your own, you're learning something na hindi pala para dun sa company na yon. So if you're if you're gonna do that, try to get a basic certification like a Security Plus, CompTIA Security Plus. That that offers the ano, the, the very basic one. Try to get that and then ano ka na, um, you'll be on above ano ka na, angat ka na from the rest na walang mga certifications. Because uh, I would assume, you know, if it's hiring for cybersecurity, medyo mahirap i- uh, exam, i- ex- i- yung parang coding exam, no? Uh, or medyo mahirap siya i- on the spot. Exactly. Uh, eh, uh, uh, coding exam, ano eh, um, you know na, you, you could show to the, no, to the, yung sa hiring manager what you can do. Pero sa cybersecurity, how can you show that? And unless, of course, kung offensive ka. Kung offensive ka, they have exams. Okay, uh, you want to work for this company? Uh, to try to hack this. Anong ganon. Pero pag defensive, how can you do that? Diba? How yeah. can you defend? So I think, ang importante doon is, ano, having a breadth of knowledge. Na parang, okay, uh, they're gonna ask you, okay, um, how can you protect yourself from a phishing attack? by email. So may mga ganun na questions. So you need to know, okay, a phishing attack, maybe try to remove the links sa emails automatically before they get sent to the ano to the to the user parang ganun. So may mga ganung classing ano. If you if you know that, then that's ano, that's a good ano, uh, good, good thing to know. Right, right. Uh sir, as we are approaching our tw- uh, 25 minute na um... Uh, just a couple more questions. Um, first, no is, do you have any current other passions, or is are you like all in now in uh, cybersecurity? Or right? <clears throat> well, uh, no, uh, I know. I I'm really passionate about making stuff. Um, so in, in the form of code, uh, music, food, even I, I, I cook cooking, mm. electronics, and even woodworking. I've been doing woodworking. Oh. So yeah, it's a uh, no. It's um. I I really love the experience and joy of making something out of nothing, uh, and um, and as long as I can be able to uh, no, to create something, I'm I'm happy na. And what's what's funny is, diba, What started this journey was my love of playing games. Playing games, yes. Oh. Nowadays, ni na ako ng lalaro eh. Mm. <laughs> um, it's it's sad to say, kasi sure I've grown out of it, and the joy of the joy of playing na palitan na siya the, by the joy of making it has it has the same uh, feeling for me that's why that that's what i do it baka the game of life ka na no? oh na, uh, exactly <laughs> it's ano na eh siguro it's a part of growing up na rin mm-hmm. na eventually you you grow from it and you 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 find something different that will interest you and that's that's the nice thing about life diba it there's a lot of things to explore Right, right, right. And so, sir, last our last question now is um, basically, you know, how to be you, po, or um, <laughs> you know, if they want to be successful um, like you, what is it to be successful like you? Ah, no? uh, um, ano, always have a goal in mind. Um, I think that's 
when I, when whenever I try to make decisions, I always make sure that it aligns with my goal. Mm-hmm. Na, like for example, you, you, I wanted to be I wanted to make games. So I've set my mind into into making games and I achieved it. Because every every decision that I make always pointed to that. And I think that's 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 the that's the recipe for success or at least for me. Kasi ano, um, as long as I always have that on the back of my mind, I'll eventually get there. And similar to ano, to switching from programming to cybersecurity, <clears throat> it's really hard pa rin to switch careers. Kasi why switch careers? And kung marami ka na experience sa development, that means back to zero ka sa cybersecurity. Or, ano. So, but I really wanted... To have a different career, I really wanted cybersecurity, so I've set my mind to it. And then, ayon, it's so it's always that. Um, have make sure you have a goal, a goal that you can reach. First, understand what your capabilities are. Uh, improve yourself for for sa para mal ano achieve mo yung ano yung yung goals mo na yon. Mm-hmm. So as long as you have that, and then you you ano you'll eventually ano end up where you want it, want to be. So that wraps up our um, show for this uh, for for today. Now, uh, thank you so much, uh, Sir John Carlo, and to our audience also. Any shout outs that you wanna do now before we officially close? Um, I shout out to my my family. Um, to be honest, my family is the the the, the best thing that has happened to me, and it it's one of the things that. Uh, one one of my goals, talaga, uh, is to make sure that I could be able to provide properly for them, and again, that's where all of my decisions come in. That's why I switched to cybersecurity. That's why I'm trying to always improve myself because eventually, at the very end, I want to be able to properly provide for them. Uh, so yes, thank you very much, Sir Raf. Thank you, everyone, and guys, if you enjoyed our content. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and do a notification bell. And of course, if you want to interact with us, please do. You can leave your comments. Uh, you can ask further questions, and we'll get back to you on those. Thank you so much, and goodbye, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>